Okay, so today we're going in under the sink. Um, my little girl's home from school. She has been taken down by the good old chicken pox. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can because she's actually resting up at the moment. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so we've had a bit of a crazy week here. We had a rental inspection at the start of the week, which is basically where, if you don't know what it is, I've lived in England and Ireland and we've never had anything like rental inspections. And then we moved to Australia and it's, it's basically what they just do. They come around to your house once every 12 weeks and they take photographs in all the rooms just to ensure that, I don't know, you're not burning the house down or destroying it or knocking down walls or something. But some estate agents, mine aren't too bad, but I have had one in the past where literally she, she complained one day that there was a cobweb outside my front door, about eight foot up into the porch in the corner. So yeah, you can imagine how frustrating that can be. But anyway, enough about that. We're gonna get on with it. I made my house look tidy, but as always, it's not like I was gonna do this without you guys, is it? So, you know, I wouldn't want you missing out on this little treat. Look at this beauty. Yes, let me just get out of my own way here. So yeah, we kind of throw everything in here. And it's, it's kind of the stuff that you need to be able to put your hand on, but you know, we've got light bulbs in here. We've got a bit of everything going on in here, but it's gotten to the point now where there's just no organization going on in there. And we couldn't find, when you, when you actually want something in there, you have to go digging around in there and it's just a real pain in the butt and it looks awful as well. So I'm going to go and sort it out. I'm going to go through it and I'm oh, the camera there. And my dogs are bickering away in the background. But yeah, we're going to get on with it, get through it and make it look nice and pretty for you guys. So we're going to take everything out, clean it, and go through it and throw out anything that we don't actually want in there because, you know, we're going to have, you know, this is all KonMari inspired after all, so it wouldn't do to not be throwing stuff out here, would it? So, okay. Come and join me. And if you're interested in KonMari or you're interested in decluttering and tidying and organising and anything like that, or if you just want to get the satisfaction of seeing you know somebody sorting out their space then by all means subscribe below click on the little bell so that you get a notification every time that we do this and without further ado let's tackle this mess okay guys so here is the mess here is everything that came out from underneath my sink so what do we start with okay bin bags needed here we have um it's like a barbecue liner we use this, it's still in the box, it has been used, but we use this for, um, uh, people in Australia will know what they are, um, we've never seen them back in the UK or Ireland. They're basically public barbecues, so you go along, you push the button on it, and you get this big kind of a metal hot plate that heats up and you get to cook your food in nice, nice parks and beaches and stuff like that, generally have them. This is just the liner that we use, so that we don't have to worry about what we're putting our food on, because at least we know that this is clean. But to be fair, they're usually pretty good about cleaning them, but just to be on the safe side. Um, a selection of fly swatch because we live in Australia. You know, the cork hat is a thing over here because there are so many flies. We have this kind of a towel rail, which we have no use for, but it was in the house when we got here. And therefore it belongs to the landlord and we can't throw it out. Because if this would have been on the list of things in the house when we moved in and therefore the state agents will be looking for it when we move out so we can't throw it out and again this is similar as well this is disgusting i don't even know what to tell you about this it was there when we moved in i don't even know what it was meant to fit what it was meant to do it has some manky old plugs in there and again we can't throw them out because they're not ours and because they will have been accounted for before we moved in and they need to be there when we're going and they're just disgusting um, okay, I've put these in my little boxes. I wasn't intending on using them for for underneath the sink, but I just think it's the handiest way to do it at the moment. This is kind of like a catch-all for things like batteries, bulbs, command strips. And um, what else have I got in here? I've got a starter for a light bulb. Um, oven bulbs, which for some reason we have two. 
even though I don't think we've ever had a problem with our oven bowl. Um, LED glow, you know, bulbs, fly strips. So they're all in there. And this I wanted because these keep migrating into my little thing that's hanging on the door, which is meant to be for this thing here. It was intended for these products. So we've got washing up liquid, surface cleaner, and some wipes. And bin bags over here so this, this is the stuff that we reach for most often under the sink and I just wanted to be able to pull the door open and they would be right there at the tip of your fingers but unfortunately Windex and floor cleaner and everything seems to migrate in there so if they're in this basket over here perhaps they will stay out of my way and that way when I want these I can just grab the basket take it out do my cleaning and put them back got some spare bin bags in there lint roller Washing soda, um, exit mold, Windex, and floor cleaner. So, yeah, it'll be handy to have all of those together because, to be honest, I'm kind of, when I'm using one of these, I'm using all of them because it means that there's a big clean going on. So it's handy to have all those, excuse me, in one basket. Um, again, I've got one of these folder things, metal folder for holding. All of our um, cling wrap, baking paper, um, tin foil, it's all in here and it's dead handy because, you know, these things used to be all over and now it's just handy because it keeps them all together. They're all in one place. And, of course, next to them goes sandwich bags. I hate sandwich bags. And I did have these... Lovely individuals, beeswax wraps, which the kids and I made together. And we had loads of fun making them. This is before, this is actually quite a bit of a while. But they've kind of seen their best now. We need to go and make some new sandwich wraps. So, until we get around to that, we're going to be stuck with them. And I hate using them, but it is what it is. Basket full of tea towels. I love this under the sink. I used to keep them somewhere else and it was just really awkward. You'd pull one out and they all come. This is, did a bit of, you know, con marrying with the old vertical folding and whatnot, and it is so handy. I've actually got another one here, and I'm going to use that for, where are they? These. Now, these are a packet of, I had one open a moment ago. Where is it? Where are you going? Here you are. Okay. This is one of them. Basically, they're clothes, and you buy them in... Um, a charity shop here. It is from ooh, the Spine and Limb Foundation and we have a Paraquad charity shop where we live and basically what these are is they were used in a hospital. Um, I believe, there it is, Charles Garner Hospital. Um, they've been used to dry sterilised hands and normally discharged after a single use. So basically what's happening is you get the doctors coming into the hospital, they're scrubbing up for an operation, they use these little things to dry their hands and then they get thrown out because of course the doctors can only dry their hands with something that's absolutely sterile. So these things are redundant after one use. So what this industry is doing is they're actually saving them, they're cleaning them and they're selling them. So there's, I got five of these for like three dollars. And... I just think they're really handy. What I'm, what I bought these ones for, the intention was, because I've been buying these things lately and I'm trying to cut down on my house waste, these are like disinfectant wipes, antibacterial wipes. And my kids go through them so quickly. They just, they have no regard whatsoever for, you know, how much rubbish is going in the bin and how much is going to landfill and whatnot. So what I'm thinking about doing is just folding a load of these up and they can be used with antiseptic and whatnot. Fold them up in here like I have the tea towels. And they can just grab one and use that. And then it can be washed afterwards. And I think that it will save me money in the long run. And it's also better for the environment. So I'm going to give that a crack. I'll let you know how it went. Um, these things I bought for the bathroom. They're sitting here on top of my bread bin at the moment. I'm going to leave those under the sink for the moment. Because... When my husband and I were halfway through painting our bathroom at the moment and before we started we literally just threw everything into the cupboard in the bathroom so that is such a mess at the moment. Um, 
once we have finished I'm going to go through the cupboards in the bathroom and then these things will come into play so we'll use them um, little compost bin I have this because we plan to start a worm farm because my little daughter loves all things creepy and crawly and a worm farm again it's just going to be better for getting rid of our you know organic waste and whatnot rather than sending it to landfill and rubbish these things are rubbish and um, receipts that's more rubbish I've got a plastic bag here which I will keep for just in case um, a cat brush and claw clippers for the dog and the cat they need to be in the utility room with our animal stuff I don't know why it's out there we've got some sponges in here I keep them in here to deter my children from just pulling them out and throwing away new ones because you know they're a bit feckless like that sometimes an old cloth for cleaning glasses which is soaking wet for some reason and packaging tape that can go in the garage we don't need that in the house this was our tester pot for the bathroom um lemon delight i don't know we we put a bit on the wall but it was over a really dark blue base which is the the original color of the bathroom and it looked awful because that paired with the fact that it was painted onto a dark color and the, the window in the bathroom is also yellow glass as well um it just didn't bode well at all so now we've got the undercoat on so the walls in there at the moment are white i don't know we may try this again but we were kind of swaying towards um going with a kind of a, a pale kind of an apple green or something like that we just wanted something to brighten it up because the way it was was dark blue and it was just really yeah it just looked kind of cold and unwelcoming so hopefully this will be better um carpet cleaner we usually get a professional in to clean the carpets um with the rental inspections because of course you know, I don't know why it is, but over here, for some reason, when people rent out a house, they put beige carpets down. Now, we have animals, we have children, beige carpets are, they make absolutely zero sense. But I guess it is what it is, isn't it? And we're stuck with it, so we just have to make the most of it. We keep this. Um, sometimes my husband will hire out um, the actual machine and do the carpets himself he doesn't like doing it though it's so much easier just to hire the guy in to do all the, the stuff himself but I guess it's handy if you just have a little like a stain that needs to be cleaned up straight away or something like that it's handy but otherwise we would get somebody in so I'll keep this but it's going to go to the back of the cupboard along with that stupid towel rail that we don't really want um windscreen wash this should be in the garage that will go with the decorator's paint up there to go in the garage. Um, insect killer. We need this because, again, living in Australia, there is just insects everywhere. And most things I'm willing to let go, but things like cockroaches and especially flies, I can't tolerate, especially. I'm not going to risk them, you know, making my kids sick. A lid for nothing. Um, my dusting cloth, which badly needs a wash. Another cloth. And I've got a window out. This came with a, a green one that's designed for cleaning windows, which I'm not sure where it is at the moment, but that needs to go in the wash as well. A Nintendo DS charger. I need to talk to my husband about that and figure out what's happening with that. I used to make my own air freshener, but my husband decided he didn't like the smell, so I'll, I will find another use for you. Don't worry. Paint scraper. Again, garage and this is one of those things that you use for stopping a draft coming in like the edges of windows and stuff like that it doesn't need to be under our sink so that can go up here stay up there um vacuum bags i'm going to keep these under the sink because that's the natural place that somebody would go looking for it if they needed it in this house a random gift bag i don't need that bin buddy i i bought this I thought it was going to be good and to be honest I didn't I wasn't very impressed with it at all I'm just gonna probably get rid of that or maybe see if a friend wants to try it out or whatnot parts for Hoover that we no longer own um glue stick toilet duck things which should really be in the bathroom I don't know why they're here and these things 
they would have been with the stuff in that basket with the command strips and everything over here but a i don't trust my children with lighters and b super glue i don't trust myself with super glue because i i don't know every time i use this stuff it's embarrassing but every time i use it i glue my fingers together i don't know how i do it i'm not naturally a clumsy person but when it comes to glue i just can't sort it out so yeah go and sort that out don't worry soap was under there that can go in the bathroom and these are going in the utility room so we've got vanish what is it rubbing head for removing stains um i bought that for a stain that my daughter got on a white bikini and to be honest it didn't remove the stain but maybe we were just asking a little too much and these things we don't have a tumble dryer but there always is a couple of weeks during the winter but where um you know we'll have a couple of weeks of wet weather and i just will not be able to get everything dried on the line so what i'll do is i'll wash it at home i'll hang it out for a couple of hours or as long as it will stay dry outside to get it mainly dry and then i'll just put it all in the wash baskets and run down to the local laundrette and stick it in the dryer for 10 or 20 minutes and when i do i tend to use these obviously as you can see i don't use i don't go there very often because i don't even know when these things were bought i think i've been there once once this year um so yeah but then we're only coming into winter so they will be used and a shopping bag which can go in my car so i think that's everything so i'm going to put the stuff that doesn't belong in here um where it does belong like in the shed and the, some of the stuff in the utility room and some of it in the bathroom and i will get back to you once i have organized this junk okay everyone so here we are all done i have used these two baskets um which i had originally had in mind for the bathroom once we've done it up um these i'd already had so yeah so we've got our little barbecue liner down here bin bags fly swats i might actually move these two to the back back there with that rail because it's winter now so i'm not going to be using them and um, this is just going to be a little caddy for when I'm cleaning. It can easily pull it out and take the stuff with me and then put it all back in one go. And it helps to keep this decluttered and keep people from putting stuff in here when it doesn't really belong in here. This is purely meant for the stuff that we pull out every single day. Um, in here we've got the batteries, the twine, the command strips, all that sort of thing. That's all in here and we've got our vacuum bags so up here spare sponges in the very back right behind that pipe um it's actually good and handy because i can stick that carpet cleaner in there and the insect spray because again that's not going to be used anytime soon and behind on the other side i have the compost bin you can just see the handle there and the handle on the lid um here i've got this little cloth um i was actually if i can get a bit closer um I'm actually thinking that these are actually pretty big for the job in hand so what I might do is take them out cut them in half and just sew the seams down again and that way we'll you know have smaller more usable ones tea cloths sandwich bags and all of my foils and papers and bits and pieces like that so yeah I think all in all I am pretty happy with that like I said I wasn't prepared to go out and buy a lot of storage solutions for under the sink i'm not really big into spending lots of money to make the insides of cupboards look pretty because there are better places to spend your money and quite frankly these are fine like i said these things here were six dollars each from kmart and i just think that they're they're good and they're functional and i haven't broken the bank to do it so yeah i'm i'm really really happy with that it's not the most extravagant and beautiful um cupboard underneath a sink that you're going to see there are some out there that are absolutely stunning but like i said it's functional and it's tidy so that's exactly what i was looking for so it's not like i'm going to be putting any guests up in there or anything like that so you know it does the job for what it is okay okay guys all done as always thanks for joining me today and click on like if you enjoyed this and if you haven't been here before please click on subscribe and hit on the bell and it will let you know when I have my next video coming out. 
which won't be long because I still have to do all of my kitchen drawers and I'll let you know how chicken pox watch is going as well because that's proving to be great fun in this house at the moment all going well I'm going to get on with the drawers someday soon and I would love for you to join me um, thank you to all my subscribers feel free to subscribe click on the like button and share with your friends if you want the more the merrier and hopefully eventually we will get this house organized and I need to make a new video soon about where we're going to go after KonMari because it's getting to that point now where I'm kind of thinking okay KonMari is really good for getting things organized but I'm the sort of person that will just let it slip so I need to get on top of that so if you have any suggestions down below by all means please let me know down below in the comment sections because you know I'm one of these people that needs a bit of direction in my life okay guys I will see you soon take care bye bye